I don't know about you, but I am excited for this week in January because so much is going down. Yes, I am a comic book nerd. I am very excited that we're getting the CW shows back. I'm talking Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow. But aside from that, we're finally getting the story of New Edition on the big screen. Yeah, it's not a movie theater, but darn it, BET is having a three-night special, and I can't wait. Because I grew up watching the uh, Temptations Ministries, the uh, Jacksons in American Dream, and finally getting a group that I grew up with is amazing. I was born in 91, but I still consider myself growing up with the group because, if I'm not mistaken, I was kind of born during the, I'd, I'd say maybe a couple of years before the Home Again reunion tour, but at the same time, I grew up bumping my head to a new edition as well as the Jackson and Temptations but again kind of getting a group that I sort of grew up with I cannot wait I really can't and when they put it on you know like uh, DVD Blu-ray what have you I just hope that extra features on the disc like behind the scenes stuff pretty much like all the promos BET that's another thing because BET for like the past three weeks is like every day there's like one or two little 30 second uh, teaser clips in terms of hey uh Woody is Bobby Brown or Luke is Johnny Gill. You know, we see these actors as the new edition members and it's just so eerie how how similar they look, their body language and so on and so forth. And the music looks, oh man, it looks amazing. I mean, it sounds amazing. If I'm not mistaken, I heard that uh, uh, Babyface, Ed, um, a Babyface kind of remixed the original songs and I cannot wait to see this. Literally three nights of awesome, awesomeness. And we know like the BET Awards, you know how it it comes on the night it's supposed to. And then that weekend is like on every day. I hope they do it where they show all three nights, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday or Saturday or Sunday, they have like a marathon with all three. Because I don't know if I could stand watching a Tuesday night than having to wait 24 hours to catch the next part of it. I don't know if I can handle that. So... I just hope that this video or this movie really brings the current generation to new edition like it did for me. You know, I was born maybe nine, almost 10 years after they got started. But I grew up still appreciating. I still I'm 25 now and I still jam to Mr. Telephone Man, even though you might consider the song irrelevant, because when's the last time you've seen a telephone booth anywhere? I don't care. That song is awesome. The story of New Edition has just been intriguing because really it's like one of the first black bands, boy bands, because yeah, we had Temptations, Jackson 5, but to have a group where all of the members kind of broke off and did their own thing, you know, BBD, Johnny Gill, Bobby Brown, Ralph Tresvant, had their own fan base come back together multiple times for, you know, the Home Again tour was a mess. Uh, they signed on with... Uh, P. Diddy and whatnot, that was kind of, you know, not, they did one album and, you know, they, they're still going strong. And it's just, again, it's just a blessing that they're still here to tell their story. And I can really tell that I'm going to enjoy the story because I don't know about you. I'm pretty sure you've all done the same. I've watched the uh, Behind the Music new edition, Behind the Music, Bobby Brown, um, Life After, that series with BBD, Unsung, one of my favorite series because I feel like that is a TV series everybody should watch you know in terms of hey if you want to if you want your kids to know about good music let them listen to the stories of these you know musicians and whatnot listen to their music because honestly i feel like those stories where we learn about the origins of the song how um a musician or an artist takes their life experience puts it into their music you really appreciate the song more because you can feel it more and i man after seeing the johnny gill unsung that um live performance of boys to men Whew. i remember after i saw that episode of unsung for about a solid three months every day i would look at that video listen to that song because he went in i hope and pray that the song boys to men live is in that movie i really hope it's in there because it was just good to see johnny gill doing his thing once he joined new edition so again, after like I've been watching these videos over and over again for years, like you know the behind the music, the life stories and whatnot, and it's just fascinating that they've all had their own success, and not many. I can't even really think of groups where the entire group as a whole 
was awesome. They broke off, had their own success, came back together for reunions and, you know, did their own thing. Because, yeah, you had Justin Timberlake um, leave NSYNC. Was it NSYNC? Because, again, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC. I grew up in the 90s, so I, I think it was NSYNC, yeah. I think he left NSYNC, did his own thing, but then that group broke up. Uh, Michael left the Jackson 5. Some of his brothers kind of did solo projects, but as a whole, the group kind of broke up. But New Edition, they never officially broken up. They kind of taken breaks, done their own thing, come out together. Like, you know, you have BBD doing their thing. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Bobby, Johnny, and Ralph who were heads of state, like the league vocalists of uh, New Edition. And I will say that the most, to me personally, I feel like the most interesting part of the story I want to learn about is like the tension of, you know, Bobby X, well, being kicked out, exiting the group, if you will. Johnny coming in, then the tension between him and Ralph and whatnot. Just because I kind of like that. Here's what I mean by that. I kind of like when the group, they're going through a really, really rough patch, but then they rise above all that for success. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I think in um, behind the music, they even said that the Heartbreak album was New Edition's most successful album out of everything. And the other thing I really want to go into is the whole them being cheated over and over again as kids. It just hurt to like see that because them being taken advantage of. I mean, again, their parents never went, you know, weren't like lawyers or anything. They were from, you know, the ghetto, if you will. So they weren't really inverse in terms of, you know, law and contracts. And it would, it is kind of sad, you know, just like the Maurice stars and the, um, uh, the, and again, I feel, and this, and I really hurt myself because I looked at this, what was it? MC, MCA, MCM, uh, records, the one they did the, uh, cool it now and, uh, Mr. Telephone man album. And they got cheated again. And then it looks, if I'm not mistaken, by the time they got to the heartbreak album, that's when they finally got things together. Like, you know, Hey, no more of this bull crap. We're getting our money. I want to see, I'm glad we're going to see that. We're not just going to see the bright side of things, you know, in the bright, colorful clothes, they're doing the music. We're going to see the tension behind the scenes. And that's why I really feel it's going to make this movie really special because we're going to get the entire scope of new edition. And another going, kind of going back to the whole tension thing. I didn't really like Ralph when I first saw the new edition behind the music stuff. And the, you know, because again, especially the BBD life after, because the award show they were on where Ralph didn't show up and it was literally, pre BBD where they sang lonely girl because Ralph didn't show up. Uh, Mike's or Bivens mom went to go see Ralph to tell him, you know, Hey, are you coming to the concert? He never answered the door, even though she heard people and music going on. Then the day afterwards, the awards show that that's when Ralph said he was doing his own solo thing. So I think the scene in the movie where we get clips of where he's like, you know, I'm the one doing all the work, you know, I'm singing, working my butt off. Y'all just dancing. And I'm like, dang, what an asshole. And it's like, I thought to myself, okay, so he's about to exit the group and leave, you know, uh, Ricky, Ron, and Mike to their own devices, essentially losing New Edition. Because, again, this is before BBD was even thought of. Then when Johnny comes into the picture, when uh, Michael says, hey, man, Ralph is leaving. We need a new lead singer. And then the tension between the group there is like, okay, Ralph, if you're leaving, why are you even worried about Johnny coming back in there? You're talking about your money's being split five ways again. You said you were leaving. But then those two coming together as lead vocalists and helping the group as a whole in the Heartbreak album, that's what I want to see. Because I'm like, oh, damn, okay, Ralph, man, you're cool, man. It's like, as uh, if I'm not mistaken, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis said in the Unsung thing where, in the Unsung episode of Johnny Gill, uh, when he said, hey, man, it's like, you can't touch a mic, you know, you won't be singing any leads on this track. And Johnny was like, okay, cool. I'll do whatever you want me to do. And then he was cool and the group was cool with him. I want to see that, but I love, I love the fact we're going to see that because again, I just like the tension in the group, but then they, they come above that. And honestly, one of my biggest hopes, because if I'm not mistaken, um, new edition and Babyface went on a tour recently and I think a new edition, a new new edition album, I know it sounds redundant. A new album from the group is going to be coming out during the uh, movies, you know, sometime soon since the movie's coming out. I just really hope that these guys, you know, from this movie and the tours, I hope they make back all the money they've lost in t when they were kids, you know, when they got cheated and whatnot, just because they deserve it. And I really do feel this group is going down its legendary status, you know, as a group, as well as their own individual acts, you know, Ralph, Johnny, uh, BBD and um, Bobby. So I am excited. We only have about less than 48 hours. Well, a little more than 48 hours until the uh, movie starts. And best believe 
when it does get released on DVD and whatnot. Again, I hope it has all these awesome extra features and I will definitely be binge watching it over and over again. And the group, again, it just really is great to see that the group is alive and well to see their story being told, having a hand in putting the story together to make it as authentic as possible. And then, of course, picking these actors who look almost identical to them at that age. So it's just awesome to see that. And I think, in, and again, I've been like watching a bunch of radio interviews and, you know, just like uh, just these different kind of uh news networks kind of interviewing the actors the original new edition members and i think bobby even i think it was an interview with bobby and luke who's playing johnny gill they were actually talking and bobby said there might there might be a part two in terms of you know and the woman was like wait wait, a part two was like yeah our story is like really really long and diverse and i really do believe that i don't know when the um excuse me in terms of timeline i don't know when the ending of the new edition movie is because we do know we're going to see the Home Again tour. And we did see, a, I think a clip came out about two days ago where it was the BET Awards and they did a medley of hits and the new edition actors did that uh, medley. So I don't know when we're going to stop in terms of the movie. I honestly don't care. I'm glad we're getting it. I, I'm guessing that part two will come out based on the success of, you know, this three night thing. So I just encourage you, if you've been hesitant, please, please tune into BET and watch the movie. Again, I don't work for BET. I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan with a microphone, just uh, trying to get my voice heard so New Edition can be get those ratings, get those money. Best believe I'm buying the CD when it comes out because I love these guys. Heck, I even bought the uh, New Edition Gold 2 uh, CD set, two discs um, set off Amazon, where they have all their hits from you know when they were kids to solo acts to when they came back together. And heck, I still love the uh, episode of Family Matters that the Home Again tour, uh, I think it was the one where Steve got Stefan to come from uh, Europe to come visit Laura. And then he got on stage and uh, was part of Hit Me Off. I love that part. (laughs) So um, again, I really do hope that these guys get the uh, recognition they deserve because it's long overdue. I mean, they've got their Soul Train Music Award. They got everything else, but I just hope they get, you know, a lot of accolades, a lot of ratings, a lot of uh, royalties from this movie, the music that's coming out there, music that's already out there because they deserve it. And I hope and pray that if Bobby was, you know, tell, well, I don't think he'd lie about this. I hope there is a part two to this movie. So, okay, guys, we got about two days left. Let's just watch this movie and comment your thoughts below. You know, do you feel like, uh, what's your favorite new edition song, new edition movie? Oh, excuse me, song, <laughs> new edition moment. Uh, even in her solo acts and based on the movie coming up in a couple days, you know, what parts of the new edition life are you ex- most excited to see?